so the recipe might not be the most authentic Italian recipe but it is one of my absolute favorites. I have created this recipe after tasting a lot of risottos here in India as well as abroad and it is an amalgamation with, uh, with all the flavors that are Italian but with ingredients that are easily available or stocked in my Indian pantry. If you don't have the expensive arborio rice or the difficult to find flat leaf Italian parsley then don't worry I have given you substitutes for all of these fancy ingredients so that you can create a delicious risotto with easily available ingredients okay so let's get started the first step is to slice the mushrooms Take some button mushrooms and wash them properly and then slice them thickly. Mushrooms lose volume when they are cooked so don't slice them very thinly otherwise they will break in the risotto and they will not hold their shape. Now this is celery and this is American curly parsley. Both of these are easily available at uh, local Indian sabziwalas. Now, Flat leaf Italian parsley has a very unique taste and it is different from the curly parsley. I have found that uh, using a combination of celery and curly parsley gives an approximate taste of flat leaf Italian parsley. So try to use this combination. Now this is Indrayani rice. It is native to the state of Maharashtra. It is a medium grain starchy rice and you can substitute this rice instead of using arborio rice which is very expensive the texture that you get with indraini is also very similar it has a lot of starch and it releases that starch in the risotto and the risotto becomes very creamy and the best part is that this rice is very cheap so you don't need to stock any expensive ingredients in your pantry and once you are done making the risotto you can also use this rice up whenever you are making dal khichdi or khichdi at home and you won't have to think of making and uh, trying new recipes to use up expensive ingredients just soak it for half an hour before using it now making the risotto is very straightforward just heat some olive oil in a pan and to that add some butter let the butter melt i know that real italian recipes don't call for butter but butter tastes really good in this recipe now saute some garlic in this oil and let the raw smell go off and then add in the finely chopped onions Saute the onions for a while and then add in the chopped celery and lastly add in the button mushrooms. Now mushrooms uh, they release water when they are cooking if you will add salt at this stage. So just blister them at high heat. Then add in the cooking wine. Now wine gives a very unique taste and flavor to the risotto. I have just used regular white wine for this. And upon cooking the white loses most of its alcohol but if you are not comfortable using wine then you can skip it and choose not to add it. Once the wine has dried up fairly add in the soaked rice. And then add in some water and keep stirring the risotto continuously till it comes to a boil. Now while making a risotto don't add all the uh, water at one go. Keep adding water little by little and keep stirring the risotto. By stirring you will release the starch from the rice and the liquid suspension will become uh, thicker and more luscious and simultaneously the rice will continue to cook. So as you see that the water is drying up, you add a little bit more water and repeat this process till the time every grain of rice is cooked but the risotto is still uh, uh, stuck together and it's not looking like a uh, khichdi. So all the grains don't have to become mushy, they have to remain individual, they have to have al dente taste that means that when you bite it 
you can feel the bite of each grain but at the same time the rice uh, should stick together like this so you can see every grain is individual but the rice is still sticking together that's when you know that your risotto is done and now i am adding in some parmesan cheese and some processed cheese now processed cheese is easily available and i have bought the parmesan cheese from big basket if you want you can also omit it and then add in the fresh cream and stir all this well till it is mixed properly with the risotto i have also added in the curly parsley at this stage switch off the gas immediately and that's it give it a taste if you feel that you need to season it with a little bit of salt then do that and that's it our risotto is ready So our delicious, creamy, full of umami flavored mushroom risotto is ready. If you've liked this video, then please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the bell icon so that you are notified every time I upload a new recipe. I'll see you soon with another interesting one. Till then, happy cooking.